Hello, my fellow Room 2 players! The Rip here with Prussian Prince and Junasney. Hello! Hello! And uh, before we start. Get yeah, I, I want to show you this freaking bag with this tree once again. You see this tree? Outline disappearing, appearing. You can see how it it's actually sprite. When you zoom out, it shows you a sprite. And it's so ugly. Anyway. Yes. We are in... I think it's already semi-finals, right? Yeah. Semi-finals of Rubicon Casual Tournament. Tournament that features players that never got into quarterfinals of any regular tournament. And in this game we see Big Dog as Seleucids against Red Warrior as Bactria. He tried to change his nick so many times, but he's still just red. So okay. guys, will you go over the builds? Uh, I'm gonna go over Red's build. He's got on his left flank two mercenary Scythian horse archers, supported by an eastern spearman and then three Hellenic cataphracts. On his right flank, two mercenary Scythian horse archers as well, three Hellenic cataphracts and one eastern spearman. In the center, he's got his Indian war elephants, three eastern spearmen and two Bactrian royal guard. That's his build. Yep. And if anyone wonders, this tournament have very strict elephant rules. So there is no armored elephants and there is only one elephant, which is Indian war elephant. You can take two cheaper ones if you wish, but there is none. Yeah. I'll yeah, try going for solicits. I hope your mic is okay now. Okay. So, Seleucus has three pelters, it seems. Then... In front of those, he has four royal pilters, two shield bears behind those, two chairs, including his general, and three of those Hellenic royal cat, Hellenic cat. Oh, chariot general! <laughs> Don't really see that. Uh, for Isini, sometimes we can see a red skirmishing on one flank, on an, and yeah, we can see what he will be doing. He will try to skirmish to the last armor on his horse archers, that's for sure. Uh, and that's a smart thing to do, because Big Dog has no long-range skirmishing at all. But Red yes. should really put up with his uh, horse archer micro. He can't waste time. He need to shoot like as long as possible. Yeah, he needs to get better angle too. Yeah, chariots coming. Oh, wouldn't be smart. And there is thing with this Eastern Spearman, uh, which we discussed with Prussian Prince. Usually we see this cheap unit simply as a charge beta. If enemy charges your uh, Eastern Spearman, he will definitely kill it. But at the same time, he will lose his charge on them. It's a cheap unit, and his units will be tired. What are these chariots are doing, I wonder? Uh, but apparently Duck said to uh, Prussian Prince that it's better to counter charge with your cataphracts and then follow up with Eastern Spearman yeah. to join the fight, and it will actually be more cost effective. Yeah. But that he only if... That they, yeah, they have bonus, yeah. They might kill around 20 cataphracts. That's oh, what that's said. cool. But... Yeah. That only works if you use uh, shock cavalry of equal strength. Uh, but I think, different. Oh, okay, he is his chariots getting caught by Hellenic uh, cataphracts, and you can see that they are not really getting caught somehow. Cataphracts <laughs> are too slow or something. Oh no, general getting charged. No, he's pulling through. Okay. Yep. Hard to micro this whole mess for both players, I guess. And look! This Eastern Spearman on far away right flank of red already killed 9 Hellenic Cataphracts. And General of Big Dog still... Ah, uh, now it's stuck, but... Red Warrior is completely disorganized. Oh, it's not yes. like he had infantry to begin with, so there were no formation, but... Chariots are starting to die, that's a big loss. That's a yeah, big he's loss. He's getting the better engagement here. But uh, now Peltas destroying this season horse archers. Both players making mistakes. Yeah. 
Oh, look. Like an Eastern Spearman charging those cataphracts. One Eastern Spearman holding back three Hellenic cataphracts. What is this? Yeah, this is... <laughs> uh, I, I think it's simply problems with Micro for B Big Dog at this point. He have to deal with too many things at the same time. And look, mm. the Eastern Spearman actually is dying. <laughs> it's dying even though it got yeah, the charge. Yeah, it doesn't even get... Yeah. I guess it does well when supporting, but when it has to fight on its own, it's pretty bad. And now well, let's take one a against look. Two, I mean. This yeah. pelt is dying in one good charge. So at this point, we get to a situation when um, Red Warrior have nothing to stop him from actually skirmishing to the last arrow. Because he will... He still, I think he can simply go and win. The problem is that his opponents still have three Hellenic cataphracts, which could be problematic later. But if he goes in now, those cataphracts will not be able to engage fast enough, I guess. But I wonder if it's necessary. I think he should just skirmish now. Yeah, but he's not. He's sending his horse archers back. For some strange region, uh, reason, region, <laughs> and I just inserted that word word there randomly. Yeah, I think the biggest challenge for Red Warrior right now is the fact that he pretty much won the game, but uh, it's still there is still quite a high chance for Big Dog to to get a win if if Red Warrior screws up his uh, target picking. He really needs to take everything he can from these elephants. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, Red Warrior decides that first target for him will be Hellenic Cataphracts. And he miss micros, his horse archers. I don't think he, sh he wants that. Some counter charge is going on, but there is no elephants in this fight, so it will not go as cost effective for Red as he wants to. He really could have made this much more one-sided. Yeah. I don't know. I like Bactrian Hellenic uh, cataphracts more than uh, uh, lucid ones. They are so colorful. Yes. Oh, and it's look like at this red sneak. Red instead of gray. Yeah, here he comes into those peltas. But oh, these guys look. are already exhausted. Yes. But they're so slow. Charge bonus though, for I mean speed bonus for charging. Uh, shield bearers join cataphract fights. This um, I I don't. A red cannot afford to lose his cataphracts here. Elephants might not be enough, but overall it seems to be getting more and more one-sided. Yeah. Yeah. Elephants and gonna you join can see in. that the shields, you can see that the shield bears actually are in formation attack because they're doing the weird uh, formation dance. Yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We really need to work on your microphone, Jonas. It pops up too much. I wonder what's the problem with it. Maybe it's too sensitive. Maybe I should lower the sensitivity again. Can you do it on the microphone level? Uh, my motherboard can do it. Ah, okay. So let's... C well, I don't see any chances here for Big Dog anymore. Yeah. Even his real peltas are in formation attack, so that's why it, it explains why they're doing worse than normal. And that's exactly what we were discussing uh, pretty much every tournament we streamed so far. Why, if everyone says that chariots and elephants OP, we don't see any chariots? And this is explanation why, because of metagame. And metagame is so that on all tournaments we have this flat map, which means Shock Cavalry and Elephants dominate. So, when you see Bactria coming against your Seleucids, you know you will see Elephants and Shock Cavalry. And Chariots are not good at dealing with Shock Cavalry and Elephants. Simple as that, that's why we never see Chariots on tournaments. 
because we don't see infantry on tournament. Yes. Chariots are only good against heavy infantry builds, and there is none. Uh, and that's it. Very metagamish play by Red. Uh, very metagamish faction pick by Big Dog, but uh, he played it uh, a bit differently. Yes. Yeah. I think overall with his build it was so many weak spots. So many. No range. No real mobility with only three cataphracts. No real staying power because Royal Peltas they are not as good as Pikes or Hoplites at holding. So obviously elephants will deal with them. So many weak yep. spots honestly. Anyway, thank okay. you guys for watching and see you later. Hope you guys and girls enjoyed. If you want to see more, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. Share the video. Subscribe to Jonas Lee. Subscribe to Zrip, and I'll see you next time.